guys, my name is Laura and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top foundation picks for summer. So last year I was kind of just writing a list of my favourite foundations and kind of like why I liked them in the summertime and I just recently rediscovered like my little notes that I wrote down so I decided to kind of like go through it, reevaluate it and kind of see did anything change, is there anything that I don't agree with now and also would I use it this summer? because we are currently in spring here in Australia, moving into summer very, very soon. And I kind of just want to get like a few foundations ready and then just kind of put everything away in storage because where I live, it's a bit bushfire prone. So I just want everything to be packed up, ready to like go if I have to go. So I kind of just sat down, went through my notes, went through my collection and kind of just said, yes, these are my foundations that I'm going to be using this summer. So yeah, if you'd like to see what those foundations are, then just keep watching. So the first foundation that I want to talk about is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I really, really enjoy this foundation. I do actually have quite a few shades. I have three shades and I really, really like it. This foundation is a bit more on the expensive side, but honestly, a little bit does go a really, really long way. And I do believe it is worth the splurge because you're really getting value out of the product it's not like you're only like it's not like you're using like three or four pumps and then like you're actually like getting your face done no you just need like a few drops here and there and then like that's your face done i feel like you'll get a lot of uses out of this bottle compared to like a traditional like liquid foundation so i do think it's worth the money in that instance um i do remember well according to my notes and now i've it, like triggered my memory um last year it was a 40 degree day. Me and my friend Fran, we decided to go to the Blue Mountains to um, this place called the Jellybean Rock Pools. If you are in like Australia or you're coming to Australia and you're coming to Sydney and you want to like see the Blue Mountains and stuff and it is summertime, maybe go give that a try. It's basically just like a, I don't know, it's just like a rock pool kind of thing. It's kind of dirty, but yeah, it's kind of nice at the same time. Um, but basically I had this foundation on um, it was 40 degree weather. We had to walk like a kilometer uphill and then a kilometer downhill, a kilometer downhill and then a kilometer uphill, like back to the car. And my foundation stayed perfect, like perfect. It was on for like, I think a good 10 hours and my foundation didn't budge at all. I've used it on a few other occasions when I've had like outside like weddings and stuff and then like a few barbecues as well and my foundations just stayed in place. Another thing that I like about it and I've mentioned it before is that a little bit really does go a long way. You don't need a lot of this product at all to get full coverage. It is almost pure pigment like it's seriously so so good. I don't really want to put any on my hand because it's kind of hard to get off but basically it's it comes with like a cap like this. You take that off and then you've got like this little stick. Make sure that you always shake this foundation if you do get it because it does um, separate. But then it basically has this like little stick thing that you can apply the foundation with. I wish it had a pump, but whatever. Um, this is still like okay. I really, really like it for that aspect. Um, this foundation doesn't have any SPF in it. So bear that in mind. If you do plan on using it in the summer, please protect your skin because it is so important to keep your skin protected, especially in the daytime. In the nighttime, I don't wear SPF, but in the daytime, please, please, please remember to put on the SPF. Also with this foundation, I like, this is the foundation that I'll use if I'm going to like nighttime, like clubbing style events or like festivals. I cannot go wrong with this foundation. It is so, so good. The next product that I want to talk about is the Estee Lauder Double Wear All Day Glow BB Moisture Makeup with SPF 30. So this product I have in the shade Intensity 3. And I would personally say this isn't a BB cream as such. It is more of a foundation. I like that it lasts quite a long time and that it does have SPF 30 in it. So if you're going on like... I don't know, like an adventure, like you're going on a road trip or like you've got, you've got like an outside party in the daytime or anything like that. Definitely give this a try. Definitely go to the Estee Lauder counter and get like a sample if you can. Um, the only bad thing about this is that the shade range is very, very limited. It's not like double wear how you've got heaps of different shades and heaps of different undertones and stuff like that. It's really, really limited. Um, but I really, really do like it. And if you can get your shade match, then this is really, really good. So the next product I want to talk about is the It Cosmetic CC Illumination. I really, really like this. It's good coverage. It's SPF 50. I should probably stop doing this, um, but it's really, really good. The only thing that I would say is that the shade range isn't that good. 
I have the shade medium and I really do like it. The packaging is also really quite nice because it is a squeezy tube, so it's good for traveling. So if you drop it, it won't break. But then it also has a pump for hygiene, which I think is really, really good. So, oh my God, I just dropped that completely. But yeah, that one is really, really nice. Definitely go to Sephora and see if you can get a sample or something of that because I really, really do like it. If you're not a big fan of like illuminating, glowy, like that type of thing, they also make just an original one. I don't like this as much, but if you want something else to try, this one is okay as well. So the next foundation I want to talk about is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. This foundation is beautiful. It's so lightweight, but it's so full coverage. It There is so many shades in the shade range and it lasts such a long time and it just it just looks so beautiful on your skin all day the only thing that i must say about this foundation is that it doesn't contain any spf so if you are cautious about spf protection definitely put on like a uv base or like a sunscreen underneath that's what i do regardless of the foundation that i'm wearing because i just want to protect my skin from the sun so the next foundation I want to talk about is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. It is so affordable and it lasts such a long time. The shade that I have is in the shade 220 and I love it with my tan in the summertime. I'm not too sure if there's an SPF in this because it doesn't really say at all. So I'm going to guess no SPF. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. The coverage is beautiful. It is buildable. It's like a medium buildable coverage. Overall, I really like it. The only thing I don't like is that... There is no pump it's only like the like pour out style but it's really really nice i highly recommend it because it's so affordable get it from chemist warehouse when it's like half price though like there's no point paying full price looking at half price so i also wanted to talk about the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer i just use this as foundation it's really really good it's really really nice high medium to full coverage depending on how much product you use I really, really do like it. It lasts a long time. There isn't any SPF in this one either, but that's okay as long as you wear like an SPF underneath. But yeah, it lasts a long time. I feel like it doesn't just wear away or like melt off my face. It's really, really good. But yeah, that's all the foundations that I thought that I would share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe because it means so, so much to me. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.